Hi, I'm Miss Kim, and this is week 16 of Little Learners. I've missed being here with you, and I'm happy to be back. Um, and remember, this is the last week of the month, so you want to stop in and pick up your new packets. We are all curbside right now, so you can call us or um, ring our doorbell when you get here, and we'll bring your things out to you. Um, next week, watch for some new songs. We're going to be doing some new songs next week, and we're going to start doing quite a bit of review. So look forward to those things. And now we are ready to start week 16. We're going to sing our Bob the Snail song. So get in your packets and get out your snails. You're going to have to know how to whistle. Give that a try. And let's start. Bob's my favorite snail. And I know he really loves me, loves me. He's the classiest snail. You could ever hope to know. Oh, oh. And I wish he didn't smell. But I know he can't help it, help it. He's lived in the same shell since I got him long ago. And if I ever need him, need him, all I have to do is call him. And I know he'll come running, running. Well, I guess he'll come crawling. So I guess I better call him about a week before I need him. So that I'll see him. Hello, Bob. Right about on time. And it's not his fault. No, it's not his fault. He's a little bit slow. He's a little bit he can help it if he's caught. He can help it if he's caught. Little itty bitty teeny tiny slippery slimy pokier than my toes. And sometimes when I'm sleeping, I like to cuddle with him. Then I put him on my nose. We look into each other's eyes. And sometimes in the morning, he's on my forehead snoring. I know he didn't sleep well He must have walked all night And if I ever need him, need him All I have to do is call him And I know he'll come running, running Well, I guess he'll come crawling So I guess I better call him About a week before I need him So that I'll see him Hello, Bob! Right about on time it's not his fault, it's not his fault. He's a little bit slow. He's a little bit slow. He can't help it if he's got he can't help it if he's got little itty bitty teeny tiny, tiny slippery slimy pokier than my toes. Yes, I guess I never called him about a week before I need him. So that I'll see him. Hello, Bob, right about on time. Bob's my Hi, right, we're going to do something a little different with Matt Man today. We are going to stand him on his head. So get your wooden pieces out and follow along. Ready? Matt Man has two feet, two feet, two feet. Matt Man has two feet waving in the air. Matt Man has two legs, two legs, two legs. Matt Man has two legs to hold up his feet. Matt man has one body, one body, one body. Matt man has one body to hold what's inside. Matt man has two arms, two arms, two arms. Matt man has two arms to do his handstand. Matt man has two hands, two hands, two hands. Matt man has two hands to hold himself upright. Matt Man has one head, one head, one head. Matt Man has one head so that he can think. Matt Man has two ears, two ears, two ears. Matt Man has two ears so that he can hear. 
Matt man has two eyes, two eyes, two eyes. Matt man has two eyes so that he can see. Matt man has one nose, one nose, one nose. Matt man has one nose so that he can smell. Matt man has one mouth, one mouth, one mouth. Matt man has one mouth so that he can smile. Did you make yours upside down? It's pretty funny. It's time for alphabet cards. Are you ready? Try to say the letters with me. Big A, little a. Big B, little b. Big C, little c. Big D, little d. Big E, little e. Big F, little f. Big G, little g. Big H, little h. Big I, little i. Big J, little j. Big K, little k. Big L, little l. Big M, little m. Big N, little n. Big O, little o. Big P, little p. Big Q, little q. Big R, little r. Big S, little s. A salmon and a seahorse were singing in the sea. Such a silly song. Big T, little t. Tickle Timmy's tummy and the tip of Timmy's nose. Tickle ten toes. Big U, little U. Under his umbrella, Uncle Upton starts to frown. Uh, uh, uh. Uh-oh, it's upside down. Big V, little V. When Vincent visits Vicky, this vulture wears his very best. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. A violet velvet vest. Big W, little w. A weasel and a warthog waited in their tent. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The weather was too wet. Big X, little x. Max has chicken pox. Six spots on his chest. <sniffs> relax, Max, relax. Big Y, little y. Would you like your, would you like yams and yogurt or a yellow egg yolk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yum, yum, yes. Big Z, little z. Zach is a zebra. He zips around the zoo. Zzz, zzz, zzz. Zigzag zoom. And that was our alphabet cards. Hi, let's get out your Play-Doh and our mats. And we are going to do some reviewing. So we're going to make some random letters. So if you want to get your snakes rolled out, roll out some snakes and we will start. We're going to start with A. So let's build our letter A with our Play-Doh. We have 
the letter A. Now let's do, not B, let's do, let's do F. A long, straight one. Across the top. And then what? Got a little one right here. You might have to break your, your worms to make the letter F. Now I'm going to do E. Let's find another letter. How about, what's this one? Let's do J. It's going to take a long snake, isn't it? All around and curve. Like a hook. We've got the letter J. Okay, I'm going to ask you again, what's this letter? Do we know? It's an M. It's going to take some long snakes, isn't it? Straight, slanted, slanted back up, and down. What's this letter? It's our letter M. Oops. Okay, tell me what this letter is. It's an R. So we've got a straight piece, and a curve, and then a slant, don't we? So there's our letter R. Okay, tell me what this letter is. It's a U. It's going to take a long piece, isn't it? Start at the top and curve it around. How's that? It's our letter U. Okay, I'm going to ask you again, what letter is this? It's our letter Z. Again, it's going to take a long piece, isn't it? So we start at the top. Slant it down and there. There's my letter Z. Okay, I'm going to ask you some more. What letter is this? It's an S. It's a curvy one, isn't it? S is like a snake. That's an easy, oops, my snake won't stay together, will he? That's an easy one to remember, S snakey. Okay, tell me what this letter is. It's a P. Got one straight line and one that curves. And we have the letter P. Okay, I got a tricky one for you. What's this letter? Okay. Again, we got a straight one going this way. We've got a slanted line and another slanted line, don't we? And we've built our letter K. We're going to do one more today. Tell me what this letter is. A G. So let's get a long snake and curve it all the way around. Still isn't long enough, is it? There, we build our G. You guys keep building all your letters and keep practicing.
going to work in my winter book. So if you want to get those out of your kit and turn to the page with the snow globe. And it says, what would I put in my snow globe? So you'd be thinking about that. I'm thinking I'm going to put a little fox in mine. So I'm going to draw his little face and his ears. We're going to be black. What are you going to put in yours? You could put you in there. Or what else? Put a sled. Or your house. Or I'm going to put his feet in here before I forget. Is he a black? He has little black socks, doesn't he? That's what foxes have. And little black ears. You had a snow globe and you were going to put it on your shelf. What would you like to have in it? So this is my little fox. He's got a little white on his chest on me. Remember little scribbles when you're coloring. His face. And he has a big fluffy tail. That white on the end, so I'm gonna go like this. He has some eyes. A little black nose. What else should I put in my snow globe? Here's my fox. You guys finish yours. And again, I'd like to see him. Counting by ones by Kay Robertson. One, two, let's count the shoes. One and two. Three, four, shoes on the floor. One, two, three, four. Five, six, shoes on the Chicks. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Seven, eight, find your shoes or we'll be late. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. He didn't have a shoe on, did he? Nine, ten, we have these shoes. Where have these shoes been? One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These shoes are muddy, aren't they? Eleven, twelve, shoes sit neatly on the shelves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, shoes are off for trampoline jumping. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Fifteen and sixteen. Are your shoes green? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Are you guys counting with me? 17, 18. Everyone loves their shoes and jeans. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. What comes next? 18. Good job. Remember to count with me. 19 and 20. Now we have plenty. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good job. And that's it, guys. Good job.
I'm going to read To Market to Market by Anne Miranda. It's about this crazy silly lady and her terrible time doing her shopping. To market, to market, to buy a fat pig. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. That is one fat pig. <laughs> to market, to market, to buy a red hen. Home again, uh-oh, the pig left the pen. To market, to market, to buy a plump goose. Home again, uh-oh, get this in there. The hen's on the loose. To market, to market, to buy a live trout. Home again, uh-oh, the goose was let out. To market, to market, to buy a spring lamb. Home again. Uh-oh, away the trout swam. Can you find the trout? Where is the trout? He got out. There he goes, down there. To market, to market, for one milking cow. Home again. Uh-oh. Where is that lamb now? Where's the lamb? He's in the stove. To market, to market, to buy a white duck. Now the cow disappeared and I am out of luck. To market, to market for one stubborn goat. The duck flew the coop. And the goat ate my coat. This is the last straw. I'm a shopping disgrace. Everything's running all over the place. She does have a mess, doesn't she? The pig's in the kitchen, the lamb's on the bed, the cow's on the couch, there's a duck on my head. The hen's in the cupboard, the goose is in there too, and the goat's in the closet, it's chewing my shoe. The trout's in the bathtub, this place is a zoo. I'm hungry, I'm cranky, now what will I do? To market, to market, to buy some potatoes, celery, beets, some red ripe tomatoes, some pea pods and peppers and garlic and spice, a round head of cabbage, a sack of brown rice, an okra and onions and some carrots, bunch, home again, home again. Hot soup for lunch. They're exhausted. We are going to do a craft. We're going to call this Perky Penguins. So if you want to get out, um, your supplies from your pack. You'll need your pieces of paper and some white glue. I've started mine to get a little ahead of the game here. So what you'll need to do is cut out your pieces from your orange paper. So let's do that real quick here. You should have two feet and a little beak. You want to cut these pieces out. And we are going to glue them on to our little 
Let the paper roll here. So let's start with the feet. You can pause this if you need more time to cut out your pieces. What I'm going to do is see where they have that little flare right there. We're going to fold it. Hold your piece like that and put the glue right here on the on this side. Just a little glue, not a lot. And you're going to glue both of his feet on the bottom. Use that little flap to glue in there. So he's got two feet. The next thing you're going to want to do is take this orange rectangle, and I've already snipped mine, but you want to snip, 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 because this is going to be his wacky hair. And I kind of bent mine down so it looks kind of wild and crazy. And you're going to want to put some glue down here along the bottom. Again, not a ton, just a little bit, just enough to tack it in there. All the way across the bottom of the page. This might be a little tricky here. Pull it into a circle so you can get it down inside here because it's going to glue on the inside of the top. Just tack it down a little bit. There's his crazy hair. If you've already got his beak cut out, we're going to fold that in half. So we had what? We had a diamond, and now we have a triangle. Just put a little bit of glue on the, on the fold. And you want to put it maybe about, this might be hard to glue on here because it's round and your piece is square, or straight, isn't it? This may take a little time to dry. So, tack it on there. And your eyes, you've got two googly eyes in your kit. Put a little bit of glue on there. A minute to dry here. Maybe if we set them down a minute. Ooh. Sometimes you'll have to think up names for your paintings. And what else does a penguin need? He needs some wings and a tuxedo front. Let's do his wings next. Take your black piece of paper and fold it in half vertically. So you're going to have two long rectangles. And we're going to cut a long curve on one side. And a long curve on the other side. Two wings. And again, I'm going to fold, fold the tops a little bit. I'll give you some area to glue on. I think I'm going to lay mine down. That'll work easier. Glue them on both sides because how many wings does a bird have? Two. And the last piece is his tuxedo. So we're going to take our rectangle of white paper and just cut a little curve at the top, turn it over, and another little curve on this side. 
Mine's going to be too long, so I'm going to cut a little off the bottom here. That'll be about right. I think what would help is if you bent it a little bit so it's rounded. I put some glue on here. We will have finished our penguins. I think you're going to have to leave them set for a little bit till they dry. And this tuxedo goes right on the front here. Under his bill. I'm going to hold mine till he dries. And we have turkey, little penguin.